Hey guys, it's Jennifer, and today, if you can't already tell, I'm going to be DIYing this Urban Outfitters inspired daisy top. And it's really simple. If you try it out, definitely send me a picture. And if you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, you won't know this, but I announced the winner for my giveaway. And the winner is Ander S, and I will leave the name right here. And congrats! If you didn't win this time, don't be disappointed. I will have a lot more giveaways coming soon, so stay tuned for those. Let's get started. So first you will need a black shirt and mine is from Michaels and then you'll also need a thin paintbrush and then some fabric paints yellow and white and then you can also use some black fabric paint if you want to make it look more distressed and this stencil that I showed you how to make in my DIY Brandy Melville moon face shirt tutorial so I will link that down below and you'll also need something to put inside your shirt so that no paint leaks through a guide and mine is just the one from Urban Outfitters the first thing you're going to do is just put your board inside your shirt so that none of the paint seeps through to the other side and then I placed my stencil on and started out with the yellow paint and just put a dot in the middle of each circle And then I'm just going back in with my yellow paint and enlarging the circle so that it looks more like the middle of a daisy. And then I'm taking my white paint and making line strokes from the outside of the circle to the inside of the circle. And these are the petals of the daisy, if you can't tell. Um, I know my first few were not very pretty because... I mean, it's my first view, I didn't really have any practice, but later on we will layer on more petals and as you practice more, they will look better. And now I am taking off my stencil and then going back in with my white paint and making strokes again to layer on more petals so it looks fuller and more like a daisy. And now I'm just going back in with my yellow paint and a tip that I would recommend you guys do is to layer on a layer of white before you put on the yellow so that it makes the yellow pop in the center and I actually did this afterwards I didn't realize how important that was and if you want that distressed look that you see here just dab on a bit of black paint to any spots that you want to look distressed So that is it for this DIY. I hope you guys found it um, easy and helpful. So definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, that's about it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!